Hi everyone! Uh, today w is my very first ever What I Wore This Month video, and so I wanted to give you a little bit of history about um, kind of my family and myself. Uh, in my immediate family, my mother and my two sisters um, have all had hysterectomies, and there are several other family members that have had uh, reproductive um, problems. Either they can't have children or they can't have any more children. There's a lot of cysts and fibroids. Uh, my sister, one of my sisters had kissing ovaries and a twisted fallopian tube. Um, my middle sister had tendrils that um, the lining of her uterus started to create these little lines going into areas that uh, they normally wouldn't go so she's had surgery. My mother and my grandmother both had um, very large cysts. Uh, my grandmother ended up passing away because it was untreated. Um, so all of our periods have been very irregular, and um, mine has as well. I, I've i um, bled for three years straight. Two of those years were together. One was um, about 12 years ago, and they wanted to do a DNC on me. And if you don't know what that is, it's um, basically the same procedure as if they were doing an abortion, except for their... Um, not removing a fetus. They are removing all the lining that's built up. And I didn't want to do that, so they um, jacked me up with some uh, um, hormones and shocked my body. And that worked for a little while, but again, it, my periods are still really irregular. Um, before I started to use menstrual cups, the, the kind that we see now, these... Um, these styles, I guess. Um, I was bleeding anywhere from four to six weeks straight, and since I started to use menstrual cup, cups regularly, um, I have dropped down to about uh, anywhere from a week and a half to two and a half weeks. Um, so I, there, are, there is no um, scientific uh, study about why or how it changes. We just kind of speculate speculate that um, maybe it's like chemicals and um, you know not changing the our body's pH and, and whatnot uh, from using reusable items, menstrual items instead of the disposable type. Uh, so because my period uh, is irregular, a lot of times they come um, like within two weeks. I'll have a period and then there'll be two weeks where I'm not bleeding and then the next two weeks I'll bleed again. And um, because it also lasts longer than uh, some other people's periods that only last for seven days, uh, my last period was for 12 days, and I use the um, Clue app, and I'll put my um, period, my last period up here. And also, I'll show you what my tracking was for, I think it's the last three periods, but I'll have to double check when I actually put the picture up. So here is that. So if you're wondering why and how I can test or try all of these menstrual cups, that is why. I'm just, you know, bleeding quite a bit. Um, and so I'll get started with what I wore this month and why I changed out or why I wore another one longer and all that other good stuff. The first cup that I used this month was the Femi Cycle Cup. Um, I purchased this in a D stash. It was a two set and my daughter ended up taking the other one and it ended up being her one of her favorite cups. Um, this is the regular size, not the teen or the low uh, cervix size. And I think that they had maybe changed their, their design a little bit because the pictures that I seen previous or currently, I'm sorry, currently the uh, ring stem kind of looks a little bit different than this. So um, I used this when I first started my period. Um, it, 
people say that it is a higher capacity cup, but then I've also seen videos saying that it is the same capacity as some of their other menstrual cups that were not dubbed high capacity. So um, I haven't done any kind of uh, comparison with this cup yet, so I can't tell you for sure. Um, I thought that I was going to have problems getting this cup to open just because um, the bulbous area here, um, I it feels not soft, but it just kind of gives a lot, and um, there are no suction release holes, so I didn't think that it was going to open easily. But I did do use the uh, C fold, U fold, and they have this little notch right there. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's right there, and that is to help you to fold it because. Uh, the resistance right in that area is not as um, firm as the rest of the, the rim. And I used the U-fold, C-fold, and it's quite wide. I was actually very intimidated by this cup when I saw um, pictures and videos of it. But it really isn't as bad as I thought when I received it. And that is the Eva cup size 2. So one of the problems that I had with this cup was pretty much on on my part. Um, it kind of goes against everything that I know about uh, the other styles of menstrual cups. This cup does not have to go all the way up um, high. Uh, it doesn't have to sit around your cervix. It could sit low and it also doesn't have to open all the way. And those are some key points that you normally want to check for when you're using those other styles of menstrual cups. So I took a bit more time fumbling with it because there was always this um, indent here and I was trying to get it to open. And I realized after that it doesn't have to open. Um, and the rim up here always stayed kind of compressed like this. But it, I did wear it lower than I normally would with my other cups. I didn't even check that my cervix was within this area of the rim, um, but when it was in this, the cup part was comfortable, I didn't feel it, it didn't give me any problems, and for the two days that I tried it out, I didn't have any leaks either. Um, the stem did give me problems because it sat lower in, in my vagina, uh, the stem I could always feel. Um, it wasn't really poking me, it wasn't it wasn't painful or anything, it was just an irritating um, tell, telltale sign that I had a menstrual cup in. It was the only thing that I could feel and it just kind of got irritating. Um, I did say that I used it for two days but I did start my period on a Sunday and Monday I had a football game to go to um, so I did use my Super Jenny during that time because I knew I was going to be in the bleachers for a few hours and I just didn't want to have to worry about leaking and I knew that the Super Jenny was going to um, keep me pacified, I guess, uh, until I got home. So I used it uh, for that day, that second day. I used the Super Jenny for that second day and then when I took a shower that night I went back to... Uh, the Femi cycle and again I forgot that it doesn't have to open all the way so I fumbled with it for a little while and it, that stem that ring stem just was not my best friend um, I would cut it off if I was going to keep this cup my other I guess irritation with it is that um, the spout I although I like that it's a no spill um, spout I just don't like to have to put my finger in there to to dump it uh, when I'm ready to empty out my cup. On one of their videos, the FemiCycle website videos, they say to put a Q-tip in there, but really I'm not going to have a Q-tip or I don't want to have to carry a Q-tip if I'm out um, with this cup and I do end up having to, to swap it out or to empty it. So, I, I don't know. Well, I, I, I guess I just have likes and dislikes about that spout and I probably would have been fine if it didn't have it. One more thing I forgot to mention was that uh, usually I bear down and I wipe 
the bottom of my cup and the stem if I still have a stem intact. And this cup was harder to wipe um, just because it has that ring and trying to get a, a wet wipe in here to wipe it um, was kind of difficult for me. And I always like to wipe the bottom of my cup so that they're not stamping on my underwear during the course of the day. On my fourth day, I figured that I would try the Lily Cup Original. Uh, I had a Lily Cup Compact and I ended up destashing it because the capacity on it was just not what I needed. It's more for somebody with a lighter period and that wasn't going to work for me because I do have heavy, heavy periods and a lot of clotting. So um, I loved the feel of the the uh, the Lily Cup Compact and I was hoping that the Lily Cup Original was made out of the same silicone and it is. They have some great quality products. Um, well, I don't have a whole bunch of their products, but I do have a couple items. Um, so I really wanted this cup. It kind of was intimidating as well because it seems like it's a very, very long cup. And I would say this is better for somebody with a high cervix and I do have a high cervix. I can insert my whole middle finger in and still have to push up to feel my cervix right at the tip. When I have my period, it sometimes drops a little bit lower, but not very much. I still have a hard time reaching it for normally. Um, so I did try this cup. I thought that I was going to have problems getting this one to open because it doesn't really have a, a rim and... Um, well, it, it does have a no-spill rim on the inside, but it doesn't have that really firm rim up top. And it doesn't have any um, suction release ho holes. Hose? Suction release holes. Um, but it does have spines. There's two of them. There's one here, and then there's one where this notch is right in the back. And you can see the coloration, um, the variation in it. And right where my finger is, is that spine. And you can't really see it when you're looking at it, um, unless you hold it up to the light. Uh, but it does make that open really easy, and I didn't have any problems getting that to pop open for me. I did have to use the C or U fold, and it, it gets pretty small. So that's a nice small um, cup for somebody that has a narrow air opening. Um, and then it, it is a nice, comfortable cup for the most part when it was in. Um, the only problems that I had with feeling it is uh, the stem area down here. And I did buy this in a D-stash, so the stem was already taken off. But this area, the seal uh, where the stem and the cup would meet, is quite hard. It's a firm piece there, and you can see that it's not really caving in very much. So every time I um, sat down, I can kind of feel that, and that was just irritating for me. Uh, so that would make this not my favorite cup, um, just for that fact alone. Um, but when I went to go remove this cup, I had a really hard time. Um, I could not release the seal it created around my cervix. I had to dig my finger up there and push in, and I think I hit my cervix when I was doing that. Um, but I was pull, trying to pull down, I bared down, I pulled down, and I think um, my cervix also was getting pulled down with that. Um, so it suctioned really, really tightly. Um, and it started to get more than uncomfortable. It got a little painful. Um, and so that night when I removed this cup, I was kind of scared to reinsert it. Instead, I went to my trusty Eva cup. I knew it was going to be comfortable. Um, I never have any problems getting this cup to open. I have to empty it. it on my heavy days, I have to empty it at least one extra time. Uh, I normally empty in the morning, and then um, with these size cups on my heavy period, I have to empty it maybe around 3 or 6 o'clock, anywhere in between that. And then I empty it again when I go take a shower at night before bed. Um, but just this cup has gotten me through a lot. It's still one of my favorites, even after over a year of using it. Still has a really good shape. There's nothing, you know, that's different about it from when I first received it. 
Um, I did cut the stem off a little bit and not because it's uh, uncomfortable. It's just because when I first got it, it kept stamping my underwear. And um, now I just kind of bear down and wipe this area before I... Uh, pull up my pants and I don't have any any problems with stamping with it anymore but it's just always one of my saviors in uh, during my periods so I did use this for uh, a couple days and then I was still having a hair, heavy period so I went back to my Super Jenny after the two days with my Eva cup and one day with the Super Jenny I figured I get my courage up and try out the Lily cup again and I it was the same thing. Uh, the stem area irritated me, um, and then when I went to go remove it that night, I did pull down my cervix, and it just was painful. And so I don't think I'm going to even try this cup again, just because I can't get it to release the air, or not release the air, release the seal around my cervix, and I just don't want to have to deal with that. Um, so I tried to put my uh, Super Jenny back in and for some reason I could not get it to open. And um, I noticed that after a couple times of just trying to put it in and let it open, it wouldn't open. So I inserted a finger and I felt my cervix. So it was really um, close to the opening. and. I kind of touched it with my finger and my finger was only inserted about this much so I must have pulled down my cervix some or something. Um, I, I'm not positive what happened there but the Lily Cup really did a number on me. Um, so I was not able to get the Lily or the Super Jenny in and open. Um, I guess I could have tried, but I kept bumping my cervix because that was just uh, very weird for me because it's never been that shallow. Um, so I ended up getting out of the shower without a cup and I had to go find another cup to try. The last four days of my period, I used the My Own Cup. Uh, this is the third TPE cup that I know of. The other two are the Maluna cups and also the Silky cup. Um, but in my opinion, this is a nicer TPE than those other two. This one doesn't feel as plasticky as they, they do, um, and that's my opinion. Uh, this is a smaller cup, and I think this is the only size that they offer. Um, I didn't really do any research on this cup yet, so you'll have to check it out yourself if you're interested in it. Here is my Eva cup size 2 and here is the my own cup. So it is quite smaller and I did end up having to empty it um, two extra times for two of those days. They were a little bit heavier days and then the two um, other days were at the very end of my period so I didn't have to change it except for uh, empty it except for in the morning and at night. Um, but the holes, if you uh, notice, are pointing downward. So I did have a little bit of leaking. I know it wasn't just the residual slubbers on the outside of my cup. Um, I don't like the stem on this. It is a tab style stem and it is quite wide. I didn't take uh, notice which way I had the cup inserted. Um, I can't even think back to how it felt afterwards, but I do know that it was uncomfortable for me. Maybe I had it turned this way inside of me um, so I could feel it more, but I'm not sure. I, I'll have to try it again and, and make sure that I put the tab um, one way than the other. Uh, but if I were to keep this cup, I probably would go ahead and cut it off um, just because I could feel it. Uh, it wasn't painful, but it would come down just enough for me to feel it, and it was kind of just a sign that I had a menstrual cup in, and I really don't want to have to remember that. Um, so other than that, it was a really comfortable cup. It's just It just doesn't have the capacity that I would need for my heavy days. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, 
cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching!